Have you ever wondered how many times mankind has come close to extinction? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? And it's the one we're about to explore. But first, let's clarify what we mean by extinction. It's the termination of a species or a group of species, a state of existence that humankind, fortunately, has yet to experience. But that's not to say we haven't had our fair share of close calls. From the early days of our hominid ancestors to the sophisticated societies we've built today, the survival of our species has been a tale of overcoming adversity. We've faced ice ages, pandemics, wars, and even the threat of nuclear annihilation. But through it all, we've managed to endure, adapt, and progress. Now you might be thinking, how did we manage to do this? Well, buckle up, for we're about to embark on a fascinating journey through time. Let's journey through time and discover how humanity has faced, survived, and thrived through potential extinction events. Our story begins with the early human and human-like groups. As we journey back in time, we encounter an array of early hominids. These ancestors of ours, like Australopithecus and early Homo species, began to walk upright, develop rudimentary tools, and explore their surroundings. Their world was vast and unknown, with each group isolated by formidable geographical barriers. Mountain ranges, vast forests, and oceans acted as natural fences, separating these early human populations. This isolation played a significant role in their survival. Each group was left to adapt and evolve independently, leading to a rich tapestry of human diversity. But isolation also presented profound challenges. Resources were often scarce, and competition was fierce. In the face of these trials, adaptability became the name of the game. Early humans had to learn to exploit their environment effectively, or risk extinction. They had to adapt to different diets, learn to control fire, and even change their social structures. In addition to their physical environment, they also contended with the whims of the climate. As the Earth's temperature fluctuated, so did their habitats. From dense forests to expansive grasslands, these changing landscapes posed significant survival hurdles. They had to adapt not only to new foods, but also to novel dangers. Predators, rival hominid groups, and even the elements themselves posed constant threats. These challenges weren't easy to overcome. Many early human species such as Homo habilis and Homo erectus eventually died out. But for each story of extinction, there's a story of survival. Groups like the Neanderthals and our own species, Homo sapiens, managed to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. Their success was not due to luck or brute strength. Instead, it was their ability to learn, to innovate, and to cooperate that saw them through. These early humans laid the foundations for everything we are today, our intelligence, our resilience, and our indomitable spirit. Despite these hardships, early humans persevered, marking the beginning of our survival story. As we move forward in time, we'll see how these early lessons in survival shaped our species' destiny and how they continue to resonate in the challenges we face today. The Earth's ever-changing climate has always posed significant challenges to survival. As we journey back in time, we can observe how shifts in the Earth's climate have significantly influenced the survival, adaptation, and evolution of early humans. Let's consider the last Ice Age, a period that spanned from about 115,000 years ago to roughly 11,700 years ago. During this time, vast ice sheets covered large parts of the Northern Hemisphere. These harsh conditions forced our ancestors to adapt or perish. Some groups developed innovative hunting strategies, clothing and shelters to survive the bitter cold. Yet, others, unable to adapt to these harsh conditions, simply vanished into the annals of history. Fast forward to the Holocene epoch, a period of relative climatic stability that commenced about 11,700 years ago and continues to this day. This period of stable, warmer climates paved the way for the Neolithic Revolution, a significant turning point in human history. During this time, many human societies transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle of hunting and gathering to settled farming communities. This shift led to the birth of civilization as we know it, but climate change didn't always lead to progress. The once flourishing civilizations of the Indus Valley and Mesopotamia faced severe droughts around 4,000 years ago. These climatic upheavals led to societal collapse, proving that even well-established civilizations were not immune to the destructive forces of climate change. While some climate changes occurred over millennia, others were more abrupt. Take the Younger Dryas period, for instance, a sudden cold snap that occurred around 12,900 years ago. This abrupt change in climate had profound impacts on human societies, disrupting food sources and leading to significant cultural shifts. 
Climate change thus played a crucial role in shaping human evolution. It has been a constant driving force pushing our ancestors to adapt, innovate, and evolve. From the Ice Age hunters to the first farming communities, the story of humanity is a testament to our resilience and ingenuity in the face of climatic adversity. The evolution of the Homo genus marks a significant milestone in our survival story. It's a journey that spans millions of years and is characterized by a series of remarkable transformations that have ultimately led to us, Homo sapiens. Our story begins with Homo habilis, the first of our genus, emerging around 2.3 million years ago. With a larger brain than its predecessors and a knack for crafting simple stone tools, Homo habilis was a significant leap forward in our evolutionary journey. Following Homo habilis came Homo erectus, around 1.9 million years ago. Homo erectus was the first of our genus to leave Africa, spreading across parts of Asia and Europe. This adventurous spirit, combined with even more advanced tool-making skills, marked Homo erectus as a true survivor. Fast forward to about 700,000 years ago, and we meet Homo heidelbergensis. With brains almost as large as ours, and an ability to create and use more complex tools, Homo heidelbergensis was a significant step closer to us in terms of cognitive ability. Homo neanderthalensis, or Neanderthals as they are commonly known, came into the picture around 400,000 years ago, these close cousins of ours showed signs of having a rich culture, with evidence of burials, art, and even rudimentary musical instruments. Finally, around 300,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens appeared on the scene. We were characterized by our large brains, complex language, and capacity for abstract thought. We started creating sophisticated tools, developed artistic expression, and began to form complex social structures. These adaptations not only ensured survival, but also set the stage for human dominance. The development of tools extended our physical capabilities, larger brains enhanced our cognitive abilities, and social structures allowed us to work together, combining our strengths and mitigating our weaknesses. It wasn't an easy journey, and many branches of the Homo genus didn't survive. But those that did, including us, carried forward the legacy of millions of years of evolution, a legacy characterized by innovation, adaptation, and a relentless drive to survive. While some human lines thrived, others met their end. The journey of human evolution is marked by a series of trials and triumphs, where some species survived and others perished. It's a fascinating exploration of evolutionary dead ends and successful adaptations. Take for instance the Neanderthals, our closest extinct human relatives. They were well adapted to the cold climates of Ice Age Europe with their short, stocky bodies and large noses. They developed complex tools, used fire, and even buried their dead. But around 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthals disappeared. Some theories suggest they were outcompeted by our species, Homo sapiens, while others propose they were absorbed into our gene pool through interbreeding. On the other hand, Homo floresiensis, colloquially known as the Hobbit, thrived on the isolated Indonesian island of Flores. Despite their small size and primitive tools, they survived for thousands of years, outlasting even the Neanderthals. In contrast, Homo erectus, one of our earliest ancestors, was a successful species that existed for nearly two million years. They were the first to leave Africa, spreading across Asia and Europe, and they mastered the use of fire and developed sophisticated stone tools. Yet they too eventually succumbed to the relentless wheel of evolution. Then there's us, Homo sapiens. We've been around for roughly 300,000 years and we've survived where others have not. Our success can be attributed to our large brains, complex language, and social structures, but it's also due to our adaptability. We were able to survive in diverse environments, from the Arctic tundra to the tropical rainforests, and we learned to exploit a wide range of resources. This evolutionary journey, marked by both extinction and survival, is a testament to the harsh realities of evolution. It's a game of survival of the fittest where those who adapt thrive and those who don't perish. It's a story of fortitude, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of survival against all odds. These extinctions and survivals underline the harsh realities of evolution. Global catastrophes have repeatedly tested human resilience. Throughout history, mankind has faced colossal challenges that have threatened our very existence. Two of the most significant of these are meteor impacts and volcanic eruptions. Meteor impacts have had dramatic effects on our planet, and by extension, on human populations. The most well-known of these is the asteroid that hit Earth about 65 million years ago, causing a massive extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs. However, humans have also been significantly affected by such events. 
For instance, around 12,800 years ago, a meteor impact likely triggered a period of abrupt climate change known as the Younger Dryas, which had significant implications for early human societies. Volcanic eruptions, on the other hand, have caused both immediate and long-term effects on human populations. The immediate effects include the destruction of habitats and the loss of life due to pyroclastic flows and ashfall. But the long-term effects can be even more devastating. Large eruptions can release enough sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere to cool the global climate, affecting agriculture and leading to food shortages. A striking example of this is the eruption of Mount Toba in present-day Indonesia about 74,000 years ago. This super-eruption is thought to have triggered a volcanic winter, causing a severe reduction in the human population. Some researchers even suggest that this event bottlenecked human genetic diversity, meaning that all modern humans are descendants of the small population that survived this catastrophe. These catastrophic events have not only tested human resilience but have also shaped our evolution and history in significant ways. They have driven human migration, influenced technological innovation, and even altered our genetic makeup. Surviving such events required adaptability, cooperation, and the ability to innovate in the face of adversity. In conclusion, global catastrophes have been a defining feature of human history. They have threatened our survival, tested our resilience, and shaped our evolution. These events have shaped human history and evolution in profound ways. Humanity's greatest strength lies in its adaptability and resilience. Throughout history our species has faced numerous challenges and catastrophes, yet we've managed to survive and even thrive. This resilience is not a coincidence but a trait honed over thousands of years of evolution. Let's consider the ability of humans to recover from disasters. Take, for instance, the Toba supervolcano eruption around 74,000 years ago. It was one of the most catastrophic events in Earth's history, causing a global volcanic winter. Yet human populations, although drastically reduced, managed to survive this disaster. Our survival wasn't solely due to luck or chance, it was our adaptability that saved us. Humans learned to adapt to new environments to create tools and technologies to better our conditions and to develop strategies to secure food and resources. This adaptability, this ability to change our behavior and technologies in response to new challenges, is a hallmark of our species. But it's not just our adaptability that's important. It's also our ability to cooperate and work together. Humans are social creatures. We've always lived in groups, sharing knowledge, supporting each other, and working together to overcome challenges. Consider the Ice Age. Humans survived these harsh conditions by banding together, sharing resources, and developing new technologies like clothing and advanced hunting tools. This ability to cooperate, to work together for the common good, is another key factor in our survival. This combination of adaptability and social cooperation has allowed us to survive and prosper in a wide range of environments, from the frozen tundra of the Ice Age to the scorching heat of the African savanna. And it's these traits that will continue to be crucial for our survival in the face of future challenges, whether they be environmental changes, pandemics, or even the threat of nuclear war. So, when we look at our past, when we consider the numerous times we faced extinction, and yet managed to survive, it's clear that our greatest strength as a species is our adaptability and our ability to work together. Our capacity to adapt and cooperate has been instrumental in our survival and will continue to be in the future. Our journey through time has revealed a fascinating tale of survival. From the earliest human populations we've seen how geographical isolation and climate change posed formidable challenges, yet our ancestors found ways to adapt and survive. The evolution of the Homo genus marked a significant turning point. With the development of tools, larger brains and social structures, mankind began to shape the world rather than simply react to it. But this evolutionary journey was not without its pitfalls. Many human lines went extinct, while others survived and thrived, illustrating the relentless ebb and flow of life on Earth. Global catastrophes like meteor impacts and volcanic eruptions brought about periods of severe hardship, but each time, humanity's resilience shone through. Our ability to recover from disasters, adapt to new environments, and cooperate as a social species underpinned our survival. In reflecting on these insights, we gain a deeper appreciation of our place in the grand narrative of life. We are but a small chapter in a story that spans billions of years, shaped by countless struggles and triumphs. Yet, we are also the authors of our future, 
capable of learning from our past and shaping our destiny. In the grand scheme of evolution, every challenge faced by mankind has been a stepping stone to our present existence. As we move forward, let's remember the resilience and adaptability that have brought us here and use these strengths to navigate the challenges of the future. We've come a long way from our early ancestors, yet the question remains, can we survive the challenges of the future? In our journey through time, we've seen how mankind has faced and overcome numerous threats. Your engagement in this exploration of our past is deeply appreciated. If you found this enlightening, please do like and comment below. Your thoughts add richness to the discussion. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe for more insightful content. Remember, the story of mankind is the story of survival. Let's keep it going.